sharing with you how to use Facebook Insights. It is a free analytical tool designed for Facebook business fan pages using the new timeline. Facebook um, really offers you a really nice insights to the analytics used by your post. Um, what I'm going to do for this demonstration is go ahead and um, get into my Safari web browser and go directly into a business fan page that I have created for a client of mine, Royal Beauty Lines. The page is already open. Let's see. Let's go to home. Okay, through the admin panel on your business page you will see here the insights panel the your posts are in purple talking about this which means the amount of people that are talking about your particular poster page is in green and then the total reach is in blue this gives you just a general idea of the activity on your Facebook fan page but what we're going to do to get into it is see all. So go ahead and click on see all and your insights open up. You'll get a brief overview of everything going on with your fan page. Here you see that the page has 61 likes between May 21st uh, through May 28th. Um, the total number of friends or fans is 29,000. 149 and that has gone up by 0.29 percent people that are talking about this is two which has gone up 100 percent throughout the past week and then the weekly total reach has increased by 46.81 percent 69 percent increase looks pretty good anyway we can see here uh, the number of posts that we've uh, shared each day and you can see here that on May 8th we had three posts six people talked about it and 142 people were reached so you can go back and figure out by date this was May 8th what kind of campaign we posted so on May 8th, we were saying watch the full episode now. May 8th, we said you can also watch Celebrity Apprentice and then become a Royal Beauty Lines um, success story. So you have three posts and you can see that 14 people were uh, engaged here, 18 people here, and 28 here. Um, you can also see engaged users by those posts as well. You have three engaged users here, two here, and three here. Um, here you can see how many people were talking about your post. And then also the percentage of the vitality of the of the post itself. Like this particular last one done on May 24th was Go Miss Texas reached nine people, there was one engaged user, one person talked about it, and the vitality was 11.11%. .11%. Anyway, what you're looking for is to see by post which ones get the most reach and most engagement and how many people talk about it. So that way you can duplicate uh, your marketing, social media marketing efforts that way. Also, you can click on likes and by doing this you can see the people who like your page by demographics and location gender and age you can also see what countries they come from what cities they come from and what languages they speak which is very fascinating to me you can also see where your likes come from new likes and also unlikes like sources um, to get those particular, you have to have like 30 people view your page um, that day. Also, we can go and see the reach of each of our posts. Who you reached by demographics and location, gender and age. You can see that we reach mostly females on this particular fan page, which is 51%. 
and 18% of them are in between the ages of 35 and 44. So that's very interesting um, numbers. So by demographics, you can see that 50, 55%, 55 of them come from the United States, 7 come from Man Mexico, and 2 come from Canada, 1 from the Ukraine, 1 from Puerto Rico, 1 from Kenya, and 1 from Thailand. You can also break it down by city and also by languages that they speak. Down here you can see how you reach the people, reach and frequency. You can also see all page content, uh, just your posts or stories by others. So for now we're just going to take a look at the organic, paid, and viral, and then total. This is the number of unique people who saw your content associated with your post. Anyway, we don't have any paid advertising for this particular page, so we've reached zero people, which is not surprising. Um, here you can see that some posts actually went viral. 38 people here, all the way up to 233 people at our highest uh, peak, which was looking at May 8th. So 30 people on organic and 233 people by viral. Total number of reach here is 250 people, which is awesome. You can also see unique visitors by frequency. 34 people were reached one time. But over here you can see 6 people were reached 21 times. So you can um, really get a good idea of who you're reaching or how many people you're reaching here how many people are actually coming back. Also, you can see the visits to your page and page views. You can see uh, the number of page views and the number of unique visitors. Um, these are new visitors and then these are uh, page views by themselves. It doesn't mean that the page views were new people, it just means that you actually had people come to your page. The highest point here was 17 page views on 523. We had three unique page views that day by unique visitors. Um, total tab views, and that means post views, like every time, uh, or the tab views are the tabs for um, an event or something like that. 125 came from timeline, two from events, one from videos, and one from information. Also, we had one external referral here. Uh, from Google. So um, you can tell where your traffic is coming to from into your Facebook fan page. You can also see when you click talking about this, this will tell you who's talking about your page by demographic and location and how people are talking about your page all stories and their viral reach. Some of this information is really interesting to see. Um, and you can see here on the high states, eight people were talking about the page. Virally, you know, the highest was um, here you're reaching 232 and this one 233. So that's about the highest viral reach that the page has had. Also, we can see the number of check-ins to the page, which is basically like unique visitors. Um, you can see how people check into your page from mobile devices or Facebook websites here. The problem is you have to have at least 30 people check in to your place in the past seven days for you to get this data. So that's one of the major downfalls to uh, using this particular piece of information here in uh, the Facebook Insights. But overall, um, you can get a really good understanding of who your uh, audience is and how you're reaching them. And then you can build from there to duplicate um, those posts to get the same kind of effect and reach more and more uh, visitors on Facebook. Well, that's Facebook Insights, and um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Have a wonderful evening. 
I'm Jamie Christine Perez signing out. Thank you.